Now this isn't a full service marina, but you'll get the point where you see these boat slips. A lot of things live under docks. You have the site for attachments here for the oysters. And this does attract a good deal of fish. Uh, many boat slips that I know when you, uh, uh, when the water temperature is right, will have a snook or a tarpon hanging out in each of these little bays. Uh, it's fairly common. Another little interesting tidbit here is there's a uh, rogue crab trap. Uh, the crab traps are generally put out by markers. You are allowed to have up to five crab traps with a recreational fishing license. I see some uh, flashes in the water right there. There's some uh, bait fish running around. And uh, we had that pelican hunting. So these areas are protected. That riprap is to break any waves that may, may occur. Then you have uh, your boat slips as well, which provide a lot of habitat. You can see just how low the tide is by how the oysters are exposed. So oysters and barnacles uh, attach themselves to these um, hard bottom, hard surfaces. Uh, that uh, area right there under that floating dock, uh, you would probably find a fish hanging out there in the shadows for protection. Uh, so in your coastal processes, you can see the seawall. Seawalls are generally built on the intracoastal side to fortify structure uh, so you can have buildings and such there. Uh, you would not uh, build them on the Gulf side because the wave action would be too, too great and they would get destroyed. So seawalls are how we manage the coastlines on quiet intracoastals. Riprap further abates erosion, provides habitat and protection, uh, making these waters both productive and suitable for the quiet activities of a boat and a private uh, little uh, marina.